Hey there, it's Colson, and today on day two of our second week of cooking, we're going to be making some nourishing traditions, a uh, spicy meatloaf. So let's get started. So first we need to saute our veggies, and the recipe calls for butter, but I can't have dairy. So we're using this, uh, this tallow that we have from our beef broth um, to do the veggies. So we have the tallow in the pot, and uh, now we're going to turn the heat to medium so that we can uh, melt our tallow and cook our veggies. So the tallow is hot, and uh, we're cooking our veggies. So our onions and carrots are done cooking, so we're going to turn off the heat, then we're going to add our uh, ingredients. Here's the ground beef. Our two pounds of ground beef are entirely defrosted, so we're going to put our veggies on top to uh, heat up the ground beef. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of uh, breadcrumbs, but our family can't eat wheat, so we're using a three quarters cup of coconut flour. So now we're adding a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of thyme, a half teaspoon of red chili flakes, and one egg. The recipe calls for cream, but I can't have dairy, so we're using beef broth. So now we're going to mix it up. So we're preheating our oven to 350 right now. And now we're going to put our meat into this pan. We're going to add a cup of water, and then we're going to coat it with our tomato paste. So now we're going to add our water and spread our tomato paste. Time for the oven. We're going to cook it for an hour and a half. Alright, so our meatloaf is done. I'm having some baked potatoes as well because, uh, you know, I love potatoes. My parents aren't eating carbs right now though, so they're not going to do that. Um, we also have some really tasty uh, steamed vegetables here, so it's looking like it's going to be a good meal. Alright, that's it for now, and happy hormesis!